Okay. Hi guys, welcome back to the DCDS YouTube channel. It's great to see you all again. He's not going to ruin my outro this time. Are you? No. No, he absolutely is not. And he also doesn't appear to realise what I uh, made a video about earlier on this afternoon. I was worried that he was going to see it, but he obviously hasn't. He just got back from school. Yeah. Uh, I timed it carefully. Okay. Now, I'm going to be a little bit, a little bit mischievous this lesson. Okay. Um, the question is how how am I going to be mischievous? I have brought with me this. You guys already know what it is, so I showed you guys earlier. They're jelly beans. Some of them taste good, some of them taste bad. So um, what I thought we'd what, what I thought we'd do um, before going further, don't worry, don't I, I have to actually swallow them. I'm, I'm not I'm not going to be that mean. But what what we're going to do is like just like one or two like throughout the lesson, um, just for a little bit more kind of fun. Okay, so um, what? It actually says cat food, but um, but what I noticed earlier this afternoon is that um, the box and the actual flavours are different because the box says one thing but then when you kind of put, take out a look at the spinner it says different things yeah. so for like that one uh, it said um, cola or cat food it's actually cola or squid so um, alright so I'm going to set that down there for now just uh, get you all Anticipating that. Um, oh look, you can see my hands. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're not really going to do much general songs today. I wanted to um, kind of develop your you I can't. I, I, I just can't talk. I wanted to. You see, I wanted to develop your abilities. Um, like getting you out of like your comfort zone and that kind of muscle we sort of thing, okay? So, um, what we're going to do, I want you to start just by having a bit of a drum out, just playing what, absolutely whatever you want, okay? And then I'm going to kind of help you out in um, developing that a little bit further, okay? kind of like an offbeat feel going on there which was um, good to see with the, um, the bass drums um, which is kind of strange because I've never seen that it been played out like that before um, normally I, uh, I have students play out with the snare drum so it's a nice change of pace there um, alright so what we're going to do is um, kind of some fast pace crazy sort of stuff today okay I don't want to kind of um, have you kind of sitting around bored and just doing like standard paced stuff. Um, so I want you to just have a bit of a drum round one more time. Um, but just go crazy on it, okay? You can do like drum rolls, you can um, you can have like little gaps in there and stuff like that, okay? Just really kind of make it a big explosive thing and see what you can come up with this time. Thank <laughs> you. 
kind of lagging up there. Nice one for the uh, double base panels. Um, yeah. So the uh, what I'm going to go over with you is um, developing certain techniques a little bit. Okay. So the first thing I want you to do. Now, normally, when, you, when you're a drummer, uh, the posture you want to have is to kind of have your back nice and straight. But for uh, developing dynamics and stuff like that, for like your buzz rolls, for example, um, so we're going to try and get, get them like really, really quiet. Um, what I want you to do is kind of come down over your snare. Okay, so you can imagine like your snare drums here. Okay, and you're going to kind of come down over it like that. It's excuse me. It's going to kind of um, give you more kind of control over your sticks, okay? So just kind of lean forward like that towards you, towards your stage like that, okay? So like the lower you are, the more control you've got because also the sticks can't rebound as high, okay? They haven't got as much give in them, okay? So what I want to do is I want to develop that with you first, okay? So I want to start off um, low down over your snare with a nice quiet uh, buzz roll and just see if you can get that going. Okay, not bad. So um, there were a couple of little breaks in there, but other than that, that was good. Um, okay, so what I want to do is um, kind of develop that a little bit further. Um, but so, so you're starting off kind of down over your snare drum, nice quiet buzz roll, and gradually I want you to kind of straighten your back up a little bit. And what you'll notice, I want you to watch my hands as I straighten my back, okay? So I'm starting there, okay, and watch what my hands do. Do you notice how they kind of go up higher? Yeah. yeah? And that'll mean that um, your notes will get louder as well, okay? If you just kind of keep that same thing going there, and then as you straighten your back, that means the sticks going to come up higher, okay? So um, let's just see if we can get that going on. You don't actually want to move, like, bring your hands up higher and deliberately happens just as a result of straightening your back, okay? Let's just see how you get on with that. Time ago, it's ringing a bell. I'm not sure if it was you or a different shoot. Oh, I know, but it's just uh, oh, the one you care about your sister's oh, yeah. Cheers. Okay, so also when I'm doing quieter stuff. Um, and I've explained to you in the past as well, I'm going to stick more towards the edge of the snare drum, okay? That means that if, if I hit in the centre, if you imagine that you could see the vibration, it's got from the centre all the way out to the edge to go. If I'm sticking close to the edge, then it's only got between the point that I'm hitting and the edge to go, okay? So you get a much better rebound because the drum head's tighter and also um, a quieter sound, okay? Because it can't ring out as much, okay? So, I'm going to let the snow in that. I'm gradually going to straighten my back. And as I do that, I'm going to start with my sticks in towards the centre of the drum. You see that? Okay. Now, I wasn't affecting how hard I was hitting the drum there. I was doing it at the exact same amount of um, hardness. Um, I was hitting it equally hard for the entire duration. The only thing that changed is how high my hands uh, came up because I was bending and straightening my back and also the area of the drum head I chose to use as well. Okay. Um, so yeah, if you want to go for quieter and faster stuff, work at the edge of the drum head louder you can still get fast stuff, but louder at the um, at the centre of the drum head, okay? And that goes for anything. Quite simple. Quite to the edge. 
and then the centre is at its loudest. Okay. So absolutely anything. It's it's just like a bit of science behind it. Uh, yeah. Okay. You really are tired today. Um. Okay. Get those back to you. Okay, so try and um, bear these things in mind in, in PG. You know when you, um, when I just kind of say improvise around your kit, yeah. think to yourself, okay, I'm going to do some quieter stuff. It doesn't have to be a buzz roll, just absolutely anything. Um, get down close to the drum, stick more to the edge. You want to go for louder stuff, straighten your back up, more towards the centre of the drum, okay? Um, kind of think about the science behind it. It's one of those things, again, it's not how you, it's, it's not what you hit, it's how you hit it. Um, right, yeah. So, um, okay, so what I want you to do, I, I am going to get you to play along to a couple of songs, um, just to kind of help you along with it a little bit, because you do seem a little bit tired today, and like you, um, if, if I start giving you too much information, you, you'll struggle with it, and that's not fair on you. So, um, so you yeah, will just jump on to a couple of songs from now and see how, see how you go on, okay? Should I do this first? Yeah, give, give it a quick go and just uh, see how you get on. <laughs> that was really, really, really nice and smooth, well done. Um, okay, so yeah, let's, let's just uh, jump to a couple of songs. Tell you what, though, let's first try Jelly Bean. Let's try Jelly Bean. Okay. okay. Um, like I say, you don't have to. You don't have to actually eat it if you don't. If you don't want to, I, I know for certain that I probably won't. Um, if you don't want it, just spit it into there. Okay. Me so. Go first. Me go first. Yeah. Why? Why do I have to go first? Why? Why do I have to go first? Why is, why is that a thing? You, they can't see you. You're off camera. Not, there he is. Okay. So, here it is, guys. I'm, I'm going to kind of hold the lid on it. I'm just going to kind of spin it up while that failed. Okay, what, what did that land on there? So, that's landed on. I can see it says farts. Oh, oh no, it's, it's at the other end. It's at the other end. Oh no! No! Guys, you'll know what I'm getting at there. I don't know if it's backwards for you guys, it's showing backwards in the camera, but. Strawberry or fresh bun? That's not that bad. The last time I did this with a student, I got that. And I got the bad one. Either that or the, there's just like one good tasting one for each one and then all the others are just bad. Maybe. I'm gonna go for this one. Oh. Do I have to eat it before you do yours? Yes. Why? Yes. Why? Why? What what why don't you... If you really want not if you don't See the thing is, you, you can't you can't even smell them or anything. I, know. I took one bite into this last time, into this flavour and knew instantly and just had to spit it out. So. I don't even like Coca-Cola, so if I get that one. Oh, well, you're going to struggle there, aren't you? Here we go. I don't want to bite it. Is it struggling? I, I don't know, I don't know until I bite it, and I really, really, really don't want to. No! It, it, oh. Happened again, guys. <laughs> Show what you got. Oh, we're in between, guys. We'll do it again. In fact, let me hold it up, and then you can spin it for that. Oh, it's so, so horrible. Oh, hang on a minute. Okay, so it's landed down no. at the bottom there. On cola or squid. I don't even like cocoa. You might like the flavouring. Yeah. If, if you don't like it, just take it out and chuck it in that bag. 
So there you go. Make sure that you, you can't see on there. Is it colour? Yeah. Do you want to spit out or do you want no. to be good with it? Why does this keep happening to me? The last student that actually did that also got colour or squid. And he just couldn't even tell the difference. He just ate it. And I keep getting fresh blood on my ones. I haven't once got a strawberry on that yet. How? It's so unfair.